taking you on an expedition. Greenland, bridging North America and Europe. It is massive and untouched, but there is a threat to all of that natural beauty that some of us here at home may already be seeing. Our James Longman is there. Uh, good morning to you, James. I'm just, I guess this summer you're never home. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right, Amy. You and me in Tokyo now here in Greenland. Welcome to Greenland. This is the Russell Glacier, part of Greenland's ice sheet. You could see it until earlier this morning. The cloud covers come down. Actually, it serves a purpose because this weather up here is changing. Rain, this is one of the wettest years on record for Greenland. It shows just how much our climate is changing. Scientists are worried about the ice melt here and how it's going to change all of our lives. Greenland the Arctic desert at the heart of the climate crisis. This is Greenland's ice sheet. It makes up something like 85% of the whole of Greenland. Where we're standing, the ice is something like 60 meters thick. In some places, it's as thick as two miles. All this water flows down to the oceans and contributes to the rise in global sea levels. That is why what happens here in Greenland is so important to all of us. The Arctic is the engine room of the climate system of the Earth. The Arctic is in the core, is the center, and controls much of the mechanisms that keep our climate system active. The ice in the Arctic helps to regulate global temperatures and ocean currents, but it's at risk. We camped out on the ice to see this changing world up close. It rained almost continuously. The, the problem? It should be snow. We are now seeing uh, melting proceeding at uh, increasing rates. And just in one day, 10 days ago, there was enough melting in the ice sheet to flood the peninsula of Florida in five centimeters of water in one day. So right now, the uh, Greenland ice sheet is the, is the source of water that is making our oceans rise. We came down off the ice sheet to see the runoff up close. And it was staggering. This water that's contributing to the rising global sea levels. So from London to Shanghai, from Singapore to New York, this is what is going to change our lives. Duarte is studying ways to reverse and stop global climate change, like these melt lakes we spotted on the ice sheet, this stunning turquoise water, a sign of further deterioration. You are scientists working on uh, marine ecosystems, working on the biosphere and ecology. You need, to, you need to face climate change. The answer, he says, could be in the mud beneath the ice. Duarte says the millions-year-old mud beneath glaciers is chemically unique and it could trap carbon. His proposal, transfer massive amounts of this special mud, newly revealed as glaciers recede, into the ocean to keep it from releasing more climate-warming carbon into the atmosphere. It's almost like the Earth is giving you the medicine it needs. You just have to go and yes. find it. You have to go and find it. Now, being out there on the ice was absolutely incredible. Staying overnight, it was freezing cold, pitch black uh, conditions. And we had to wear these. I know you know what these are, Amy. These are crampons. Oh, we had to yes. put these on our shoes to make sure we stuck firm into the ice. Uh, and it was pretty scary being there because the guide actually told us to stay behind him in a line because if we'd gone either left or right, we could have fallen down 60 feet crevasses. That wasn't great to hear. But apart from that, you know, this whole experience has been incredible. Greenlanders, I should say, they're not debating whether climate change is happening. They're seeing it and they're living it. Where I'm standing now, that's where the glacier used to be. Mm. And wow. look at where it is now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.